Hello, I'm Mike Walker. Welcome to a demonstration on how to find software information in an SMIS 180 array server. <clears throat> this demo is shown as a quick start guide for array software on my GitHub site for SMIS mocks. Uh, you find those in the video on installation and setup for running mockups of SMIS web servers. The quick start guide is a five page, six page document that highlights information that can be found in about 32 pages of SMIS. The software and software in inventory profiles of the common book and the disk drive light profile in the block book of SMIS. In this demo, we'll be working with PyWebM 1.1.1 and version 080 of PyWebM tools. That's because we'll be using the PyWebM CLI uh, as part of, for driving the demos. So let's begin. We'll switch to my command prompt window. First, we'll go to uh, our virtual environments for mocks. We'll do that with the work on command. And we're in the virtual environment for Mox. So the next thing we need to do is connect to the Mox server that supports a, uh, the SMIS 1.8 array. So we'll establish a connection to the array Mox with a PyWebM CLI command. I went in CLI, and we're asking for the default output to be table, and we're connecting to the array mock. And we're connected to the array mock. Now, the elements that report software information are instances of SIM software identity and its subclasses. So we start by looking for classes <coughs> that are instances of SIM software identity. And to do that, we're going to do an instance enumerate. On SIM software identity, and we're asking for a property list of instance ID version and string manufacturer, major version, minor version, and revision number. And we get a number of software identities. I believe there are 10 here. So we have something from Acme Corporation, version 186. We have about eight byte store items, all at version 231. And we have a management server software identity, version 4.6.1.2 from Software Inc. Now that tells us basic information about the software, but really doesn't tell us what the software represents. So the next question is to answer what part of the array does do these software items support? We will determine this by iterating on the following command to determine the logical elements supported by the software. So we'll do that with an instance shrub command. And for this, we're going to switch to MOF format and ask for our instance shrub on SIM software identity. Now, a shrub are all things that are directly related to the class in question. The dot question mark says we're going to look at these individually to see what the answer is for the different uh, software items. So, we now have a list of 10 software items, and we'll start with the first software item and select item 0.
And here's our shrub. <clears throat> the software identity is an antecedent in a element software identity to its dependents, which are SIM registered profile. So basically what this is telling us is this particular software identity is supporting the array profile and all its component profiles. That's useful information. That's where we get our array support. And we also have an installed software role and in installed software identity. And what this is telling us is where is this software installed? And it's installed on a system, uh, specifically a computer system. And the computer system happens to be the top level system of our array. So now <coughs> we need to look at the other elements in our list. So we'll execute the command again, and this time we're going to ask for item one. We ask for item one. <coughs> And we see the byte store. Uh, this is the byte store software. Is an antecedent and an element software identity association to a disk drive. So, uh, item one and the next seven are in fact firmware. Uh, the byte store firmware for disk drives. Now notice that the byte store software does not have an installed software identity to anything. This is because it would be redundant with the element software identity. That is, the firmware is on the disk drive. So let's move on to the last item, which is item 9. Again, the same shrub command we ran before. But this time, we're going to select item 9. We see the management server software has a, a SIM element software identity. Oops, let me back up here. The management server software has a element software identity association to a bunch of registered profiles. <clears throat> These are the WebMs and SNEA server profiles and their component profiles. The management server is a provider code for the interop namespace. The management server software also has a, an installed software identity association to a system. And in this case, the system is the uh, Man, uh, the system for the management server. And that's a summary of uh, how to explore software in an SMIS 1.8 implementation.